Today we are meditating on the topic cross and communion based on 1st Corinthians chapter 11 23 to 26. Today is Monday Thursday. It is also known as Holy Thursday, a significant event in the Christian calendar that falls on the Thursday before Easter. It commemorates two key events. The Lord's Supper where Jesus shared the Passover meal with his disciples and the washing of the feet where Jesus demonstrated humility and service. The term Mondi comes from the Latin word mandatum meaning commandment reflecting Jesus words I give you a new commandment. This day is observed with various tradition across Christian denominations including the distribution of Monday money, the washing of feet and the mass of the Lord's Supper. Monday Thursday holds deep spiritual significance as it embodies Jesus' teachings of love, humility and service. The blood of Jesus is highlighted on Monday Thursday service as it signifies his saving death that gives life by washing us spiritually clean. Therefore, the hymns, prayers, sermons and special music on the services may also center their attention on the cross of Calvary. Holy Communion is one of the highest liturgical moments in our congregations. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 23 to 26 narrates the institution of the Lord's Supper by Jesus Christ. This passage can be seen as a radical act of inclusivity and equality. The act of sharing bread and wine symbolizes the breaking down of social barriers as all are invited to partake in the meal regardless of their social status. This was particularly significant in the context of Corinthian church where divisions along socio-economic lines were prevalent. They were divided over so many things. Thus, they collided with each other all the time. They do not even trust the pastor Paul. They question his leadership so much that he has to defend himself. The congregation quarrels over who is in charge of the church. It is clear they have lost focus because they magnify the messenger and miss the message. Here Paul wants to the church to get back on the message by focusing on the story of Jesus Christ. Thus he urged them to be in agreement and that there be no divisions among you but that you be united in the same mind and the same purpose. His core message is the broken body and blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ and him crucified. In other words, Paul calls for this divided people to be unified in Christ. But this church is so broken and bleeding from its internal wounds that is hard for him to get his message across to them. Even at the Lord's Supper, Holy Communion trouble proves. When they come together to commune, they do not come together in unity, but in disunity. Paul says it is for the worse. The supper of unity has become one of disunity. In this cultural context, Paul is not talking about the Lord's Supper as a liturgical rite in a church building. At this point in history, there were no separate buildings for Christian worship. The Lord's Supper was a meal eaten by a community in private homes in Portland style. The Lord's Supper happened to be part of the common meal. Paul is not dealing specifically with wrong sacramental theology but wrong social relations in the community. They are not being one and they do not care. There is no sense of the common good. They have forgotten how to love God and each other. 
the way they treat each other tears this community apart in particular those who have nothing are treated badly the brokenness of the corinthian church at the table reveals that they have forgotten what it means to be the church in the first place they forgot what made them a church they demonstrate an odd amnesia about Jesus' death that is why paul tries to refocus them on the body and blood of the lord dear friends how we are observing holy communion in our churches how are the socially marginalized community treated today the forerunners of csi sought to establish the values of reign of god such as equality fraternity and social justice are we following these virtues today we need to deeply think about this these days many of socially ostracized communities shed their blood due to the systematic injustices vulnerable communities are made to spill their blood today in our social context during the public hearing forum cry for justice organized by church of south india to hear the voice of dalit and adivasi christians in five southern states of india participants shared their experience which affected their livelihood development in the name of caste the sad part is that these discriminatory practices are practiced by the fellow non dalit christians what is our christian response to this kind of injustice happened inside and outside the church it is embarrassing to say there are discriminations from the baptism to burial where we are going if we are in christ we cannot serve caste and christ we cannot serve two masters we should stop these inhuman practices in our church as well as in the society therefore this maundy thursday is an urgent call from god through jesus christ to remember the purpose of jesus's life and witness to affirm and confess the resurrection of jesus which was the starting point of the formation of one church to anticipate the coming of the lord jesus christ through our life according to god's plan the lord supper therefore becomes a powerful symbol of god's liberating love which transcends human made divisions and calls for a community based on equality and mutual care it is a reminder of jesus sacrifice which was made for all people and it calls believers to live out the same self giving love in their own lives thus celebrating lord supper this day should challenge us to build communion with all people underscoring justice inclusivity and the preferential option for the poor may god be with you and guide you in the days to come amen let us pray lord of all creation enable us to build a communion with everyone around us irrespective of socio political religio cultural differences renew our hearts and minds to reincorporate with our brothers and sisters in the church as well as with jesus christ amen